Hello, welcome into my workshop and welcome to the show Creations of Clay. My name is Louis Palladini and tonight I'd like to do another prehistoric animal. It's called Titanus and it's a prehistoric terror bird. And I'll show you how to make that from start to finish. You know, it probably stood maybe in from six to eight feet tall and it had these, you know, big legs and things. It, you know, it was probably like an ostrich, but it was, uh, it was a meat-eating bird. So I will show you how to uh, make that tonight. And I'll show you the types of clay that we can use. There's this oil-based clay, which never hardens. And as I mentioned in the past, I used to use this all the time when I was a kid, make all kinds of animals, and then uh, roll them up and make something new. There's this air-hardening clay, which can be bought in the art store. And this will harden like in a couple of hours or overnight. And the great thing about this, once it hardens, you can paint it. My preference for the clay is a clay called Super Sculpey, which can be baked in the oven about 15 or 20 minutes. And you can drill it, sand it, and you can make a tremendous amount of detail. I'll show you the size balls of clay that we'll be using tonight. There are, we're going to use this size ball of clay here for the base. Then we're going to have this size ball of clay here for the body. And I have some other balls of clay you can see sticking to the side here. This will be used for the beak, these two balls of clay here. And then this will be used for part of the head. And then these two balls of clay here will be used for the legs. Then this ball of here will be used for the head and the neck. The first thing that I want to do is show you, before I do that, we also have some toothpicks that we'll be using tonight. And then I also have this aluminum wire, which is extremely flexible. And we'll be using these for the legs. And that will enable it to stand. The first thing that we want to do is we want to take this ball of clay here and we want to kind of flatten that out. So I'm going to squeeze it in my hands and kind of see, just see I'm squeezing that? Just kind of squeeze it. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to put this right down here and then take and just kind of push down with your hand. Well, so you just push that down just like that. And then what we want to do is we want to take the tin foil. I have some tin foil here. And you can buy this like in, you know, in the supermarket or maybe a place like CVS or a drugstore. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take and just kind of push this down onto the base. See that? I'm just taking and this gives it a really nice texture for the base. So that nice texture that we created it looks just like the ground. So what we'll do is we'll put that aside and I'll show you the next thing that we're going to make is see this body right here for the terror bird? We're going to make that piece right there and I'll show you how to do that. So I'll put these on the tape almost make it into like a potato-like shape like this and then we're going to start to make a kind of like a point in the tail. See how I'm working that like that? Just like that. And I'm just going to smooth it out a little bit. See I'm taking my thumb and running it over that like that. Just kind of want to smooth out the shape a little bit. So that's the basic shape that we want right now for the body. And now we're going to proceed to make the neck. See this piece right here? We're going to make that right now. And I'll show you how to do that. We can take, I want to take and put this on the table. And just roll it a little bit like this. See, at least we got it started now. 
And see, it almost looks like a log. So what we're going to do is just work that a little bit. And then we're going to proceed. We're going to attach these. We're going to take and attach that right above there. See how that we do that? So we can take this and just kind of work it in like that. Go all the way around. Use your thumb to kind of work that in like that. And what I'm going to do is compare it to my model. See how that looks? See how that we attach that? We're going to work on making, see almost almost sounds like a, a cone shape in the back of the head here. And then we're going to make the beak. And then we'll work on making the eyes. The first thing that I want to do is, is start to make that piece in the back of the head. So we're going to take this. And almost make it, think of like an ice cream cone upside down. That's what we're doing right here. See how that, just kind of working, making that into a point. And we're going to put that in the back here, right here. And see how I attach that? Just like that. And then what we'll do is I want to make the beak. So we're going to take these two balls of clay right here. And I'll show you. We'll take this right here. And we'll make that beak-like shape. See how I'm working this? I'm going to make it into a point. Almost similar to like what we did for the, par the parrot last year. See how I'm just working that? And making that nice beak. See the shape that I made there? Pretty cool. And then what I'd like to do is just bring that point down a little bit. And then we're going to take our sculpting tool right here, the triangular one. And I'm going to take, and now that I've, I'm going to sculpt this out a little bit. So I'm going to take this, see this tool here? I'm going to take that, kind of sculpt out that area a little bit. And then what we're going to proceed to do is we're going to make the bottom part of the beak. I'm going to put that down. And then we're going to take, and see this? I'm going to make this into a nice little point. Like this. See that? That's what it looked like from the side. That's what it looked like from the top. Now what I want to do is take this sculpting tool now, and I want to take and see how we take and carve this out a little bit. See how I did that? And then we're going to take these two. I want to see if they're approximately the right size, which they appear to be. And I want to attach that right here. See how we attach that? Take the lower part of the beak, and then we're going to take the upper part of the beak right here. And we're going to put, the, see how I just put those on? So we just kind of work those in a little bit like that. Go all the way around. You can use, and we'll use the sculpting tool to also, see I'm just going to take, I want to make sure that this is attached properly. So see how I'm taking that, taking the tool, and just kind of pushing it up against like that. And we go, and I, we can flip it to the other side and do the same thing. Just like that. It's coming along nicely. So what I want to do is look at my model and see that it's similar, which they are. And then the next thing I want to do is kind of work on the eyes. So we're going to take a little more clay here using the additive technique. And we'll, I will take this. Just take a little bit of clay like this. I'm going to make the, I'm going to work and make the eye. See how I'm doing that? See the shape that I'm making? 
See that? Now we're going to take that and we're going to attach that to the side here of the head. We'll kind of just work that on a little bit. I'm taking that, see I'm just working that in up top. And then I'll just see how we attach that. So the next thing we want to do is we want to do the same thing on the other side. So I'll take this. And create that shape. I might have a little extra clay here, but I'll, I want to make them approximately the same size. So what I'm going to do is put this on the other side here. See how we're doing this right here? So I just kind of work that in. I want to take, work that in a little bit. See how we did that? Just, just ever so slightly work it. Okay, we got that. I think it's approximately the same size. And what I want to do now is I want to take the toothpick and take, and see this, how I'm putting this in here? And I just kind of rotate it back and forth. Like that. And then what we can do is we can do the same on the other side. Rotate that back and forth like that. To make that eye. Then we'll take a little more clay. I just want to make sure this looks all right now and it's attached properly. See how, see how that came out? Looks pretty good. So now then, the next thing that I want to do is I want to show you how to make the legs. What we're going to do is I'm going to take these two pieces of aluminum wire and what we're going to do is I want to just get a rough estimate. I'm going to put them up against the bird here and figure out roughly how long I have to make it. So what I'm going to do is take this. It's very flexible. I'm just going to move that like that. And then I'm going to bend it down here. I want to see, and then I'm going to compare it to this. It's approximately the right size. So I'll take and do the same thing for the other piece. So I'm going to take this here. See this? I'm going to take and just kind of push that into the bird like that. The terror bird. And then we're going to come and do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to take, see I just take this, push it in. And now what we want to do is we actually want to take the clay and these two balls here. And we want to add, put that around. I'm going to take pieces of clay off here now and we're going to make the legs. So what I'm going to do is take this, lengthen it out, like this, and then kind of flatten it a little bit. Now we're going to take this, see how I have these on, like this? We're going to start to wrap the clay around the, the wire for the legs. See how I'm wrapping that around? I'm 
just using the additive technique, we'll just add pieces of clay to the legs. So now, what we want to do is, I think we, we, we want to create some of the feathers on this thing. So what I want to do is for this piece up here, we're going to take the toothpick and just kind of go like this. See this? Just kind of work it like that. Just like that. And you're going to go all the way around and do that. So we got that. See, I'm just working that, going all the way around. And then on the eye, the top of the head, we'll just kind of work it a little bit like that. Just make those nice little lines. See that? Just take and do that. And then what we want to do is we're going to take our sculpting tool here and we're going to make feathers. We're going to do this. See this? Just like that. We're going to go all the way around the underside. See how we're doing that? Creates a very nice texture for the feathers. And then we're also just going to do the feathers halfway down the leg like that. See how we're doing that? You want to go about halfway down. And then on the side here, you just want to kind of work it like that. And we'll do that. But what I want to do right now is I want to take and attach it to the base now. So I want to show you something really neat. This, is, this will enable the bird to stand up or the terror bird to stand up. We are going to take this now and push it in to the clay, the clay base that we made. And then we're going to do the same for the other side. See, I'm pushing that in. This will enable this bird to stand up when we fire it in the oven. So what I'm going to do also is take some clay, this clay here, and we're going to cover up that wire. See how I'm putting that over the wire? We don't want to see that wire. So you, we're going to cover this up just like that. See how I covered that? You can't even see the aluminum wire anymore. And that's what we wanted to do. The next thing that we want to do is these balls of clay here. I'll show you with the model here. See these feet? We want to make these feet and these claws. So I will show you how to do that. It's very easy. We're going to take, so I'm going to take and roll these pieces of clay like this. And then see how I. I'm going to make the claw with my finger like that. See how I'm doing that? Just like that. So it looks like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to attach that. We're going to go down here on the base. And I'll show you. I'm going to attach it like this. See that? Put it down. It'll be easy for me to do it on the table. You just take, we're going to take some of the, the tool here, and then we'll also press that down like that. See how that looks? And now that we've finished making the claws, I want to take the tool and just make the little indentation so you can see where the, where the claw starts. See how we do this?
we do that right there. Just like that. And one of the things that I like to do is I also want to make some like little indentations on the feet. The, the claw. So we go like this. See how we're doing that? And then we'll proceed to do that here. And we'll do it here. We're going to do it on both feet. And then, and then I'll show you for the legs now, I like to scruff these up a little bit with the toothpick like this. I'm going to go all the way around like this. And then I'll show you, you want to make sure the feathers are coming down so you do that. Just like that. Let's see, we going around and doing that. So you want to make, do these indentations for the feathers all around the entire terror bird. And then one of the things we also want to do is on the base here, I want to tap this again with the tinfoil for those areas that we didn't, because, uh, did, you know, we had been working on this. So just touch it up like that. And this is almost ready for baking. Once you finish doing all the feathers, you'll be ready to be fired in the oven. And now that we've fired the terror bird in the oven, it's now ready to be painted. I will show you the color of paints that we will use tonight. These are the acrylic paints that we'll be using. There's 18 in this package. This can be bought in any art store. And I'll show you the colors that we want to use. There's several colors. We want to use brown for the base. We want to use blue-green for the color of the body. We want to use orange for the beak. We want to use, it's almost like a, a, a tan color. This can be used for the legs. We want to use gray for the claws, and we want to use black for the eyes. And now we'll put the rest of these aside. <clears throat> and I'll show you the types of brushes that we want to use tonight. We're going to use this brush here, which can be used for the body and doing the brown base. We're going to use this brush here a nice small brush. This will be used for the eyes. We will be using this brush here for the beak. And then we'll be using the other brush here for the legs. And we could potentially use that for the claws. I'll use another one for the gray claws. This size here for the, for the gray claws. The first thing that we want to do is paint the brown base. I'm going to take, we'll do, you see this here? I'm going to take this and just kind of go back and forth like this. Back and forth, back and forth. Just like that. And then when you want to do near the legs of the feet, just do it ever so slightly. You see how I'm doing that? And we could even get a smaller brush in a minute so we could uh, paint that a, a little closer. But we'll get the biggest part of it done with this brush here. Now the next thing that we want to do is we want to paint the beak orange. You see the beak right here? I'm going to take that. I'm just going to go back and forth. See, so just kind of dab it ever so slightly. I want to make sure I get as close as I can to where the body's going to be. Then we'll do the other side. So you're going to go back and forth. Do 
do that. Make sure that we get just like that. And then we want to get the underside. And then we also want to get the inside of the mouth. So I kind of dab that brush in like that. And now the next thing that I'd like to do is I want to do the eyes. And I'm going to just kind of dab this eye right here. See how nicely that came out? We'll do the same for the other side. I'll turn that around, and then we'll go in like this. The next thing that I would like to do is I want to take and do the legs. I'm going to, I'm going to go down from here. See this right here? Just going to do that. Do it ever so slightly. And you go, we're going to do the, see I'm doing that? Just dab those. Let's see that, see how, and get in between. And then we'll proceed to do the other foot the same way. Now what I want to do is take, and I'll flip this up now. See the, we're going to paint the claws right here. Just dab it ever so slightly. So now what we'll do is take this, and I'll show you. See, we're going to paint the head of the bird. See how we're doing that? And just go ever so slightly with this. You might even want to use a smaller brush to go around the eyes, but I'll show you how to do most of the bird. I'm going to go back and forth, just like that, back and forth. I'll show you what the terror bird should look like completed. See the bird now? We got the nice orange beak. We got the black eyes. We've got the blue-green for the body. And then you can see we have like that tan color for the, the legs and the feet here. And then you can see we did the gray for the claws at the end of the, the feet on both sides. And we did the nice brown for like, I wanted to make it like it was like dirt or mud. And that's what your tightness prehistoric terror bird should look like when it's completed. And I do want to thank you for coming to Creations and Clay tonight. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. Goodbye for now.